Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about forms in Sitefinity and how you can create rich, interactive forms with just a few clicks. Forms are a great way to collect contact details and to prompt visitors to complete a survey or fill in a questionnaire. It's an easy job creating simple or multi page forms in the Sitefinity back end. You simply drag and drop widgets and edit their properties to customize the content. And that's what we'll demonstrate in this video how to create a form, set up notifications, and modify the templates for the submitted form confirmation emails. The first thing you need to do is build your form. Navigate to Content, Forms, and click Create a Form. Enter a title, and then select Create and go to Add Fields. Once the screen loads, you'll see the form editor and the toolbox with all relevant built-in widgets, such as email, text box, drop-down, and so on. These are your form fields. Once you add a field, you can specify default and optional values, add a CSS class, mark the element as required, add validation rules, and customize error messages. Now, drop a simple text box widget where visitors should enter their name. Click Edit to select the value of the label, in this case, Name. The input of this field can be set to plain text, color, date, password, and so on. You can also set a limit to the characters visitors can enter in the field and customize the validation message displayed when the rule is violated. Next, you can add an email field, drop a multiple choice widget, or enable file upload. Again, as with the text box field, you can add the properties of all form fields and widgets and set them as required or make them hidden. If you're building a multi step form, it's best to use the page break widget, which works as a separator and divides the form into different pages, depending on where it's dropped. As you can see, any marketer or content editor can build forms in Sitefinity without engaging the IT team. OK, back to the form. Once you publish it, go ahead and place it using the Form widget on any page in your website. Your visitors can now fill in the form, and provide your marketing team with valuable entries to analyze and contact details to follow up on. To have a look at all form submissions, go to Content, Forms, and click on Responses, where you can also manage user responses. Let's go a bit deeper and consider the following case. You have a requirement to create a conditional form that is, to create a form field that depends on the input of another field. That's when you take advantage of the rules functionality in forms. Say you have a form in which users fill in their address. What you want to do is have the state field visible to users who selected United States as their country and keep it hidden from everyone else. Let's do this step by step. First, open the form you just built. Next. Place a drop down widget on the location in the form where visitors select their country of residence. After that, place a text box widget where visitors should enter their state in case they select United States from the drop down in the previous step. Mark this field as hidden. To create the conditional rule, simply go to More Actions, Rules. Depending on your requirements, you can select any or all conditions to be met for the rule to be set in action. To create the condition in the drop down widget, select the Countries field and then United States. Next, define what happens once the criteria is met. In this case, you want the State field displayed. As a result, once you publish the form and place it on a page, in case a visitor selects a country other than the United States, they won't see the state field. Well done! 
Your first form is ready and published, and visitors can now fill it in and submit it. But how are you going to know if anybody submitted a form response? Sitefinity provides an out-of-the-box solution for this. You can set and modify email notifications for form submissions with just a few simple steps. What you'll need is a dedicated email server, but for test purposes we'll use a dummy one. To configure the notifications, go to Administration, Settings, Advanced, Notifications, Profiles. Then select your profile and set the email server settings. Depending on what SMTP server you select, the settings will vary. Once you save the changes, go to Forms, Notifications, and make sure you switch on the Enable Notifications setting. One last step before our notification settings are done and your form is good to go. Go back to your form and click Settings. You can modify two email notification options here. The first one is to send a confirmation email to the visitor who submitted the form, while the second notifies you or any of your peers whose email address you add that there's a form submission. If you want to customize the templates of the confirmation emails instead of using the built-in markup, Sitefinity provides an easy approach and a rich text editor. You can easily modify both the form submission confirmation email sent to visitors, as well as the email sent to visitors who subscribe to be notified once a form is submitted. By clicking on Customize Email, you can change the formatting of the content and the content itself that's sent to visitors. Let's try this out and make a simple change to the email template content. Before saving the changes, you can send a preview test email to make sure that you're happy with the results. Now, go ahead and submit a form and see the whole thing in action. The form, the conditional fields, and the notifications. Once you submit, you should receive an email notification informing you about the newly created entry. Now, having visitors fill in forms is just a stepping stone toward making them into customers. Here's where your marketing and sales teams step in. They can map form responses to the contact database and profiles in Sitefinity Insight to get a fuller picture of their prospects, analyze audiences better, and then target them better. To map form fields to Sitefinity Insight, open the properties of your form and configure the data mapping. What's more, Sitefinity provides an out-of-the-box integration with HubSpot and Eloqua, so you can pass form data and attribute return on investment to specific campaigns. To take advantage of the Eloqua and HubSpot connectors, enable the synchronization of the submissions by editing the form widget on the page and selecting Post Data to the specific connector. That way, whenever a form is submitted on your Sitefinity website, the response data is sent to Eloqua or HubSpot. Want to know more about Eloqua, HubSpot, and Sitefinity Insight? Check out our dedicated videos about each one of them. We hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Now go ahead and create your own awesome forms. Thanks for watching.